your internet connection ever failed on you? Well, if not, then you don't need to watch any further. But if you have ever at any point in your life had a failed connection, then you need to watch this video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, and today we're talking about an absolutely awesome service and piece of software uh, called Speedify. And what Speedify does, in a nutshell, I'll cut to the chase, it combines all of your different network connections that you've got together uh, to give you a fail safe in case one of them fails. But it does far more than that as well. So have you ever found yourself on a Skype call, a Zoom call, a Teams meeting, a FaceTime call or something like that and then your internet drops out momentarily and it drops you off the call? Uh, or maybe it drops out for a longer period and you just can't get back on. You have to fumble around trying to switch your uh, Wi-Fi settings to try and find a different network or something like that, or maybe start tethering to your mobile or whatever way you normally do to uh, resolve all of these issues. Well, wouldn't it be great if you were just actually always connected to all of these things at the same time and there was some clever little piece of magic working in the background to make sure that if one of them failed, you didn't notice anything, it just automatically switched over to another uh, option that you have available to you. Well, that is basically what Speedify does at the very basic level, but it does far more than that as well, because not only does it act as a fail safe to allow you to automatically switch between your networks, but it actually combines all of your networks together. So you get the combined speed and performance of absolutely all of your networks. Now that might sound quite simple, but it's actually a really complicated bit of engineering that's uh, gone on behind the scenes to get this to all uh, work the way that it does. More than that, <laughs> in, as if that wasn't enough, it is actually also a VPN, a virtual private network. And the way that it works is it does actually prioritize different tasks that you have going on so that, for example, if you've got a, a sudden uh, a surge of bandwidth demand, shall we say, um, then it still will prioritize. It can tell the difference between uh, maybe Dropbox is trying to sync or maybe you're on that very important uh, Zoom call or something like that. It can determine the difference between them and make sure that your important things are given priority. That in itself is just quite amazing. <laughs> but it doesn't stop there as well because once you sign up and have a subscription to it, and by the way, I don't know if you already use a VPN. I know I do, and I shall be cancelling my subscription when it ends in another eight months. <laughs> I should have been paying monthly, really, shouldn't I? But there you go. Uh, so I've got another eight months of that. But this will actually just replace my VPN as well because you can select the, uh, the, uh, the country and the server location that you want to use as well. It will obviously... Uh, pick the best one for you but if you want to actually specify a specific location then you can do that so it does double as your uh, regular VPN but again so much more than that and and pricing wise as we'll come on to it's about the same as any other VPN to be honest <laughs> or any other decent one that I've found so uh, it really is great but then it still doesn't stop there because if you've got an account with them and you've signed up to them then you also can use it on your mobile <laughs> So then you can have all of this functionality on your mobile. So you can be on Wi-Fi and it can find the best Wi-Fi for you, but then it can uh, combine your Wi-Fi and cellular as well. It's just amazing. <laughs> can you tell I'm impressed by it? I really am. Thank you, Doc Rock, for putting me onto this. <laughs> As with uh, so many of my latest discoveries, that is the source of them. So uh, I'm uh, in huge appreciation for it. But let's have a little look now at the website and then let's have a look at how it works. So it is speedify.com. And don't go on but sign up for it yet because I've got a way that you can get a, a pretty hefty 25% uh, discount as well. So uh, we'll come on to that towards the end. But first of all, here is the Speedify website. And as it says at the top, uh, use all of your internet connections at the same time, uh, which is the, the very basic thing that it does. <laughs> uh, and then you can see down here, use uh, multiple connections for maximum performance, which is what we've said. And you can use Wi-Fi, you can use cellular, you can use Ethernet, uh, tethered phones or satellite. So uh, quite a few options. And by the way, that's not just one of those instances. If you have somehow got uh, maybe different so, uh, sorts of um, uh, internet, different sorts of internet. That is a ridiculous phrase, isn't it? If you've got different connections to the internet by different service providers in your home, for example, uh, maybe you might have two different ones with uh, two different routers, uh, then you can use both of those. 
not only that, but if you have got a, let's say, a Mac Mini, <laughs> I'm just talking from my personal experience, if you've got a Mac Mini and it is plugged in over Ethernet, but then you also have an external, uh, say, a Thunderbolt dock or something like that that also has an Ethernet cable, well, you can plug them both into the uh, router and then you'll also get the benefit of those two connections into your computer. So you may have a sort of faster line than you have over the, uh, the single cable going into your computer. So you can kind of double up with that as well. So it is a streamer's best friend, they say. And indeed it is because no matter what streaming service you are on, it does uh, give you that extra little peace of mind that you're uh, not going to have those drop connections and also get the maximum speed out of it as well. And it can also, as I say, work on the mobile. Uh, no dedicated hardware required. As I say, it is just an app that runs on the uh, the uh, either your phone or on the desktop. But let's have a little look at the uh, cost of it. So if I go to uh, the different plans, and here we go, the uh, individual plan for three years is four ninety nine a month, uh, one hundred seventy nine dollars for uh, three years. If you're on the uh, uh, one-year plan, it's $89 a year, uh, billed every year, so that's $749 a month. But as I say, you can get 25% off that uh, with a special little offer code, which I'll be telling you about uh, at the end of the video. So let me show you how it actually looks on your computer. So I'll come over to my screen sharing, and it sits up in the top of the uh, menu bar, just up at the top here. And if I click on this, then you can see here, basically, this is tracking all of my uh, internet usage. Uh, when I say tracking it, I mean, it's just monitoring the <laughs> the, uh, the actual speed that I'm getting and the up uploads and downloads. Uh, and you can see here at the moment, I've just got two connections. So this is actually my uh, Wi-Fi and my Ethernet plugged into my, uh, my, my Mac Mini. Uh, but I can also have it tethering to my mobile phone, which I haven't actually got toggled on at the moment. Uh, but you can also do a little live streaming test if you want. So if I click on that, uh, probably not the best time to do it really, is it? In the middle of uh, recording a video. But let's see, that's just working away there now and it's just performing a live streaming test. And basically that's what, what that's gonna do is that's going to, in a moment, spit out a result and tell me uh, what the uh, optimum size that I will be able to stream at in. So it will give me the resolution and the frame rate as a sort of maximum. Uh, and then also it does record these as well. So you can sort of say, see for later, go back and look at how your history has been. So a bit like you may be familiar with speedtest.net. Uh, and there you go. So this is saying that I am capable of streaming, live stream test complete, uh, capable of streaming at 4K uh, at 60 frames per second. So it's just a nice little thing. And I was managed to maintain the maximum upload of 50 megabits per second. My speed's actually quicker than that, but it just meant that that was what it was able to maintain, which is what you need to be able to stream at 4K at 60 frames per second. So that is a nice little way for you to just test your connection or connection connections. The other thing you can do is if you scroll down in this window, uh, it uh, will tell you down here uh, the number of stream emergencies, as they call them, and the number of stream emergency saves. So that's 14 times that basically this thing has saved my bacon, <laughs> is the, another way of saying that. You can also see here seamless failovers is uh, 28. So that is where it's basically switched from one thing to another. Maybe the, the, the uh, connection dropped out or something like that, and it has actually saved it by uh, flicking over to the other connection. You can click into each of those and see basically arranged by day, week, and month, and so on. So you can get that uh, that extra sort of level there. Uh, the amount of data downloaded in this session, nine gigabytes, and the total downloads, or the top download speed rather, was 140 megabytes bits per second and the top upload speed was 150 megabits per second um my connection is 100 megabits per second <laughs> so we've managed to get more than my connection there and that is because of this uh, being able to combine these different uh different connections basically so that is how you're able to get faster up and download speeds than previously you would have thought possible so uh, especially is useful if you are on a slower connection and want to have something to uh, boost the speed of your connection so that is how it uh, looks on the Mac you can see different things so we've got the usage the latency and the uh, the loss so the number of times the things dropped out uh, and you can see some other details in terms of the current upload and downloads to these two connections so here you can see that both of them are actually working away uh, I said that it just dropped to zero as soon as I started talking it was I promise it was working just a moment ago there you go it started again now <laughs> uh, so that is uh, basically how uh, how the app the the app looks on here 
Uh, you can also click in here to change to a different server. So you can see that we've got, uh, at the moment, I've got it on the fastest server. So it just takes the uh, recommended uh, server, the best one uh, to hand, <laughs> shall we say. Uh, but you can also do manual selection. And this is basically what I was saying before about how you can use it as a VPN. And as you can see from the list of countries, there really is a huge list of different uh, countries that you can choose from. And then within each of those as well, you can click the little arrow and there are specific ones within that country as well. I mean, I'm not sure exactly if we can see any more details of them, uh, perhaps not, <laughs> uh, but you could certainly select it by country. So uh, we can just leave that on uh, the fastest for now. Uh, but yeah, you could certainly just toggle the country. You might not know where server Singapore number 30 or number 12 is, but you can just go by uh, by country. So that is how you would get it to work uh, as any other VPN. Uh, pretty impressive, really, in my book. Uh, now, what I want to show you now is the fact that this is also available on the phone. So here we are now, this is my mobile running. And what's great about this is it does actually combine your Wi-Fi connections, <laughs> however many you may have, uh, but combines this with your uh, your cellular data. So uh, that is the great thing about this. Uh, I often have it sometimes where I'll be on a call and maybe I'm heading out at the time or uh, walking around the garden maybe even and at some point I'll drop out from the uh, the, the house wi-fi so I need to switch it on to my uh, cellular and it, it'll drop out a call or something usually when I'm following the kids around on the phone to their grandparents <laughs> but with this active it just means that the connection will never drop out and in fact it will mean that I'll have double the uh, the connections most of the time while I'm uh, while I'm out outside or out and about anywhere else for that matter but as you can see the um the interface is pretty similar. Here you can see my two uh, Wi-Fi uh, connections, or sorry, my one Wi-Fi and my cellular connection. And then you can come down here and it tells you the same sort of data at the bottom there. So I've got 10 seamless sail uh, failovers, uh, four gigabytes of data. The top download speed was 104 megabits per second and the top upload speed was 50 megabits per second on my mobile. And if I uh, tap on that, it will tell you the sort of top uh, uh, top speed upload and download over time as well. Uh, and then you can toggle it on and off and you've also got the same, uh, basically the same things we just saw in the menu bar. So we've got the latency and stuff like that. And then also you can change the, uh, the actual server that you're connected to as well. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so how do you get 25% off? Well, there is a little offer code, but I don't believe I have the authority to give it to you. If I did, I might have to kill you. So <laughs> I can't do that. But what I can tell you is if you are an Ecamm Live user, it is part of the Ecamm Live perks. Um, and also, if you do attend the Leap Into Live uh, conference, which is virtual, so you've got no excuse not to, and it's only $20, <laughs> then you will also get that offer code as part of that. Now, if you don't know what Leap Into Live is, well, let somebody tell Are you ready to take your content to the next level? The live streaming market is booming, but with so many options out there, it's hard to know where to start. You've heard about doing live video and other video content on platforms like LinkedIn and Facebook, but you're not sure how to make the most of this or how this is going to help you with your business. You're not sure if creating a YouTube channel is going to help you get more customers or it's just a waste of your time. We will walk you through everything you need to succeed in live video with this four day immersive immersive virtual bootcamp. We've got all bases covered from choosing the right platform for your needs, planning an event, recording epic video content and editing it into something awesome, scheduling posts on social media, promoting your videos and monetizing them effectively. This course is designed for everyone from total beginners who are just getting started in live streaming to those who want to grow their visibility and increase business by creating more valuable content. Leap into live streaming virtual bootcamp. 
pretty awesome. <laughs> it's only $20. I can't quite believe it, to be honest. It's a whole week of events just packed out every day. And uh, yeah, definitely head over to leapinto.live. And it's not long to go now. 13th to the 17th of September, uh, full of all these great speakers like these <laughs> that you've probably seen somewhere around the internet. <laughs> and uh, it's just amazing. If you are in any way interested in uh, live streaming, in content creation, uh, or anything that I cover on my channel, really, <laughs> I'm guessing that most people who watch my channel already know about it, but there you go. Uh, definitely head over to Leap Into Live and not only can you get your 25% uh, off uh, Speedify, but you can also get other great perks like uh, a month free of Descript and uh, TubeBuddy and various other different things like that. So uh, once you sign up, you'll get a uh, email that tells you about all the different uh, perks. But as I say, if you are already an Ecamm user, then uh, you will have got an email about the Ecamm Live perks when you signed up for that as well. Or if not, uh, contact uh, Ecamm Live and they'll give you the offer codes for uh, things like Speedify. I think it's amazing. <laughs> My life has been revolutionized. Do you know what? Since I started doing these, um, uh, well, these videos, but also my weekly live streams, my internet connection has been so stable for the past 16 years in Thailand, which often comes as a surprise to some people. They think it might be uh, uh, maybe not so good over here, but actually it's one of the best places in the world for uh, coverage of internet and also uh, the uptake of uh, different social profiles. So I think we are ranked number one on the uh, social media usage per capita or something like that. Like that at some point. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But the point is, since I started doing live streams, my internet connection has been rubbish. <laughs> it's kept dropping out and various different things like that. So uh, I'm certainly looking forward to uh, a, a bit more of an easy ride from now on with Speedify looking after me. And as I say, $84, then take off 25%. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> it really is a no-brainer. So if you are doing anything with live streaming or video where you're on video calls. I mean, who isn't doing video calls these days? Uh, definitely check it out, speedify.com. And there is a free trial, uh, risk-free th uh, risk 30-day money-back guarantee. So uh, try it for a month and see what you think. But uh, I'm sure you'll agree uh, once you've uh, tried it for... Uh, I mean, I've, I've been on it for a couple of days and I'm raving about it already. So there we go. <laughs> I think I've said enough. If you found this useful or if you're already using Speedify and have got any comments or feedback, then don't forget to leave those down below in the comments. And uh, also, obviously, give the video a like and subscribe if you aren't already and share it with all your friends. <laughs> if not me, the uh, Speedify, because it is worth sharing and shouting about. That's all for now. I'll leave a link to some other great videos over on the right-hand side, so don't go anywhere. Those are coming up next. Have a great day.